Hello and welcome to Writing Quest. My name is Brendan Pugh and in today's episode we're going to go through our Notion template that we have available and talk about how you can use it to outline your next story. Huzzah! Okay, so in this episode, we're talking about Notion, and Notion is a uh, program that you can use for all sorts of different things. We use it a lot. I use it all the time, and I've made quite a few videos on it. And so today in this episode, we're going to go through a simple Notion template that we built that is available, and the link is uh, down below in the description. And we're just going to kind of walk through how to use it and what to do with it. So let's jump into the computer. All right, so it's basically very simple. It's just one template here. It's called the Writer's Book Series Outliner. And this is a copy of it. So I have the other copy for sale. So this one is not going to mess that up. But basically all it is is you have the outliner. And then you have a couple of different views and a couple of different modes. So we'll go into the first mode. So the first mode is the synopsis view. And basically all that it is for is for kind of, if you're doing a series, it's for outlining kind of the main, just the synopsis of the books. So the main kind of story beats. Um, and then you can also, so basically if you add a few new ones here, you can have book one, and then you could have book two, and then in here, you just put in number of book, kind of helps you keep things in order. And you can also put in type. So type for me is novel, short story, novella, whatever you can, you want to do. But, you know, some people have different versions of stories. So they might have a novel or they might have a novella and they're all kind of in the same series. It's just kind of a way to make note of that. After you put in the title and the order in the series, come over here to the synopsis. And this is basically where you write the dust jacket of the book. Pretty simple. Um, the not, not an outline, just the, if you picked it up in the bookstore, what would the synopsis be? And then the only other thing on this page is the, you can put notes in for main character, main antagonist, main supporting cast, and supporting cast. And all of these are multi-selects, so you can have more than one main character. A lot of stories have more than one, so you can put in character one, character two, etc. And same for all these. So these are all just keeping track of things. And what's cool about that is this is a nice quick little look. You can, if you go back to this view later and you've put in, you know, four, five, six books, you can read a quick synopsis of your whole entire series, as well as kind of see how the characters flow through the story. So maybe one of your main characters in one book becomes the antagonist in another, or kind of keep track of where your supporting characters are. I have two categories for supporting cast. I have main supporting cast and supporting cast. So to me, that is like, you know, you have Frodo is the main character of Lord of the Rings, but the main supporting cast is Sam and Mary and Pippin kind of a thing. And then your supporting cast is maybe just like a random character who dies at Helm's Deep, if that makes sense. So that's the first view We're in the synopsis view. If you go here, we go to the series outline view. Now, this is the main view of the whole thing. And this is where you get into, you have the synopsis view for reference in your title and series order. And then this walks you through the entire three act story structure. So you have the hook, inciting incident, build up, first plot point, first pinch point, etc. That's your first act. And then you go into the second act and go all the way down. It goes through the whole thing. And basically, all you do is you just fill those in. What's what I like about this view is if you're doing a series, so you have book one, book two, book three, book four. However, you can basically look at your entire story in this one view, from making sure all the hooks work and everything, and you can basically read through the whole synopsis and the whole outline of every book. Obviously, it's not a detailed outline; it is supposed to be simple. It's just your three act story beats. Um, 
This particular one does not have a chapter outlining or scene outlining portions of the template. Those are coming in a later outliner that I'm working on that I've been using to do my own books. And so I will be making that available at a later time. And then if you want to break it down a little more in case it's too much to look at, I have an act three, act two, and or act one, act two, and act three outline views. So if you go into act one, it's going to show you all of your books, but it's only going to show you act one. So from the hook to the first pinch point. Then if you go into act two, it's going to show you the whole fact two for every book. And then if you go to act three, you can go into all the act, all the different plot points for act three. You could add different views here just for each individual book if you wanted to break it down that way. But I like the idea of being able to see it all based on your acts, act one, act two, act three, and then your series outline. And then of course, your synopsis. So just to review quick, your synopsis view is the kind of simple dust jacket version of the story and then you can go into the series outline view which lets you outline the entire series the all three acts all three all the plot points and all the acts so this is available online you can get it in with the link in the description below so please check it out if you are interested and it really helps us out it supports the channel in a big way and we appreciate that a lot so Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something and we will see you next time on Writing Quest. Huzzah!